So this video is gonna be a really exciting video because I'm gonna do what I love for the whole day. I'm gonna read. What we're doing today is I'm going to finish all the books I'm in the middle of. These are the books that I'm currently in the middle of and you can see it because all of them are yellow on the pages. So the first one is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Jennifer Lynn Barnes is my favorite author. If you know me, you know how much I adore, absolutely adore the Inheritance games. You can literally see them displayed on my shelf because they're special to me. They have a special place in my heart. This is Jennifer Lynn Barnes kind of take on criminal minds, but teenagers, you know what I mean? This book follows 17 year old Cassie who is a natural at reading people and her life is kind of normal aside from the fact that she lives with her grandmother. Her dad is away all across the world, I think, and her mom is dead and she saw her mother die, I believe, something like that. She never took the reading people slash profiler thing seriously until the FBI come knocking and they want her to join their classified program where they use exceptional teenagers to crack cold cases and murders. That's what the book is about. I'm not gonna tell you more. It's really, really, really good. I am on page 122. I've been reading it for a long time though, but it's really good. And then we have the book You Had Me at Hello by Mayuri McFarlane. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong because I am so bad at pronouncing names. But anyways, so this book is about Rachel and Ben who used to be friends. They had a connection, something like that. I haven't gotten that far into the book. This book is hilarious, heartbreaking, and everything in between, you'll be hooked from their first hello. You had me at hello, right? So started reading this book. I actually love the first pages. Never heard anything about this book. I was able to spill water on it. So it's like the pages are curled. You know when that happens? Hate that. I had to pull my hair up because I literally despise having my hair down. And then we have If This Gets Out by Sofia Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce their names. This book is about two boys in a boy band of four, I believe. They fall in love within the boy band and it's basically a, I don't know, fan fiction. I think this book is a little inspired by One Direction and some of the conspiracy theories that have been flying around about some of the members. It's about two guys in a boy band that fall in love and I think they have to keep it a secret, something like that. I started, I'm like eight pages in or something. I'm literally on page nine. So I don't know that much about this book, but I believe that what I explained is what it is about, so. Then we have a really famous book, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Don't actually know what this is about and I don't love reading the back, but I'm gonna do it for you. Of course I want to be like them. They're beautiful as badges forged in some divine fire and Cardin is even more beautiful than the than the rest. I hate him so much that sometimes when I look at him, I can hardly breathe. One terrible morning, Jude and her sisters see their parents murdered in front of them. The fearsome assassin abducts the th all the three girls and brings them to the world of fairy. But fairy? Fire? I don't know. Mocked and tormented. Mocked and tormented? I don't know what that word means. <laughs> for being merle, merely mortal. Is that how you say it? Merely mortal? Jude soon realizes that to survive in the treacherous, dangerous world of the royal court, she needs to be as cunning and dissectful as the fae themselves. But the stairway to power is fraught with shadows and betrayal, and looming over all is the arrogant and charismatic Prince Cardin. I know this is an enemies to lovers, but a lot of people say that this is this book is really heavy on politics and not as much enemies to lovers that you can't really see the enemies to lovers in this. I think I'm on around page 40 or something, but I don't really know. Then we have It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han, and this is a sequel to The Summer I Turned Pretty. I've watched this show, and I actually watched a lot of the season two as well. I'm 30 pages into this. I just, I just couldn't seem to find it interesting enough to read when I was reading it. I started this the day after I finished The Summer I Turned Pretty, and I just couldn't I didn't really seem to love it as much as the other one and also I know that there is a certain team or a certain boy that she kind of is more focused on in this book. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok being like, 
Okay, fine. Team Jeremiah, y'all won season two, but season three, we're coming back strong. And personally, I'm Team Conrad, but I don't know what happens in this book, and I don't know what happens in the season two of the show. I just watched like two episodes, and I was like, I don't love this. So we'll see. I don't know if I can tell you guys what this book is about because it's a sequel, but it's about Belly. She goes to the summer house every summer with her mom, her mom's best friend, her mom's best friend friend's kids which are Conrad and Jeremiah and her older brother. She's always had this crush on Conrad. The, the guys have always like bullied her and she suddenly she turns pretty or she turns older and then suddenly maybe she'll have a chance with the boys. Never know but I've read the first one so I can't really say much because I'm gonna spoil the first one but everything that happens after the first one and the summer after the first one I believe. Excited to see what happens. Then I have the last book which I've been reading for two whole years. I we're finally finishing it. It's in Norwegian, but it's the Norwegian version of Caves Walking by Patrick Ness. This is also a movie with Tom Holland, and that's the main reason I bought it two years ago because I had a huge Tom Holland face. Wait, that was three years ago now because it was 2021. So I had a huge Tom Holland face in 2021 and that's why. Anyways, I have about like 150 pages left of this. So I think the first ones we're gonna finish are the naturals and this one, and then we're gonna get on to the other ones. I've been reading this for three years, I know. Don't come for me. I don't love it, but I have a problem. I can't DNF books. This is This is a dystopian book which is about a boy called Todd Hewitt. Todd lives in a new version of the world, kind of. And then one day, Todd is in the woods and he discovers a spaceship that has crashed and there's a girl there and there are no girls where he's from, so... He tries to cover it up until he finds the mayor. Uh, so when the mayor finds out that he saw a girl, the mayor tries to kill the girl. And then Todd and this girl ends up running away. They're just on the run from the town that Todd is from because the men in that town want to kill them or something. I don't remember. And the huge thing in this book is that they have something called noise, which everybody can hear your thoughts and see pictures like in your thoughts, if you're a man and woman can hear them, but women don't have the same thing. So you can't hear woman's thoughts. So you can't hear the girl's thoughts, but you can hear the Todd's thoughts. And you can also hear all of the men in Prentice Town, which is the town he's from. You can also hear their thoughts. It's really different. I've seen the movie and I think that's why I don't enjoy it as much. And also it could have been 200 pages longer. It's a little long, so. We'll see, but I'm gonna finish this. So I'm just gonna go and finish The Naturals. I'm really excited to get through this. I love this book so much. When we finish that, we can go over to the next book. Let's read The Naturals. I'm so excited. Okay, hello you guys, it's the next day. I, oh. Oh. I'm so tired. Anyways, today I'm gonna continue reading The Naturals now and probably finish it and then I'm, I actually need to edit a video that needs to go out, but I'm so tired. <gasps> gonna read now. Gonna read now. Gonna read. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've been sobbing. I just finished this and I'm gonna t tell you more about this book in the end of the video because it's literally the middle of the night but what the actual this book had me screaming dropping my jaw to the freaking floor 
sobbing like a baby, closing my eyes, almost wanting to rip the book apart, throwing the book, and literally losing my freaking breath all in 10 minutes. Speechless? Most insane plot twist I've ever... I didn't... I was, I was literally writing, like, what I thought would happen in the book so that I had proof if I was right. I was not right, okay? The plot twist was insane. I have nothing more to say. This was insane. I'm gonna go to sleep. I've been sobbing. I have mascara all under my eyes. Do you see this? Holy moly. That was insane. Read The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, okay? Honestly, just read anything by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She never fails. Oh my god, this was insane. This was just ins It was too insane. It was like, my sister came in, came in here and she was like, did you say anything? And I was like, full-on sobbing. And she was like, are you reading a book? And then I continued reading and I was like, yes. And I jumped. I jumped in my bed to sit up straight because something happened in the book. Most insane last 30 pages I've ever read in my whole entire life. Oh my god. I have no I have no words. I'm gonna sleep. Good night. Okay, hello you guys. It's a Sunday. Yeah. It's a Sunday. Welcome back to the vlog. Me and Celia are sitting at a cafe right by our house and we're eating some pastries and I'm drinking a hot chocolate. Celia's drinking a smoothie. And we're gonna read. So he's reading Akamov, A Court of Mist and Fury, and The Deal. And I brought It's Not Summer Without You to continue it for this video. And also The Crow Prince, just in case I finish It's Not Summer Without You. Although, I don't think I will, but we'll see. So we're just gonna eat our pastries, talk, chat, read, you know. Talk and chat. Talk and chat. It's the same thing. We just finished reading. We read for like one and a half hours or something. And we're heading home to my place now and we're gonna read more, but we're gonna go to go to the store first. Mm. Shout out to Bubs for being my favorite candy. And shout out to Scandinavian candy TikTok. Uh, Norway deserves more hype. Hello, Asila. Real. Mm-hmm. So uh, for all of you Americans and non-Scandinavians out there who are literally hyping up Scandinavian candy so much on TikTok, I understand the hype because it's amazing. It takes me five minutes to walk to my nearest store and I get bubs, I get I could like to Hi. <laughs> more bubs, I get these things, these are really Those good. Are nasty. You should try these. These are not hyped on TikTok, but they're really good. It's not licorice. And these lips are really good. Licorice is good, though. Yeah, licorice is also actually really good. I get these in different colors. You know, I realized that licorice is like a very Scandinavian thing to like. I didn't know a lot of people yeah, didn't I like know. licorice. It's so weird. Like, I feel like licorice is really Scandinavian to like, but I feel like, you know, mint flavor or something is really American. Yeah. It's really Not American. Mint. They have mint, mint ice like cream everything. is like disgusting. Mint ice cream, peppermint tea, peppermint everything. Peppermint tea is actually good though. And then they have mint flavored hot chocolate. That's just it's, it's, it's mint mint things taste like you just brushed your teeth mm, it's and then disgusting. ate something. It's disgusting. And then we have these bad boys right here. These are like not all of the things we have. Every store in Norway is closed on Sundays except yeah. a few. And the one we went to is like close today, so. So, the one we went to is a smaller one, and that's why the um, options are limited. But this one is also really good, which is a bubs.
this is a part one for this video, so there will be a part two later this year. I don't know when yet, but there will be. I think I started with six books and now I have three left. So I finished The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I finished It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. And I finished Caves Walking by Patrick Ness. When I say finish, I say I got 350 pages in and DNF'd it. I was already 350 pages in. I read one page and I was like, no, I need to let myself DNF this one book because I actually hate it. This is what I thought about them. So I'm starting off with The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Such a good book. Oh my god, I gave it a 4.25, I think. I don't completely remember. The reason it was in a 4.5 was it is engaging through all, throughout the whole book and I it was fun reading it throughout the whole book and I really enjoyed it. There was nothing that was unnecessary. Everything fit right into place in this book. But there was just some moments that I... It, they just didn't feel right. But that was the minimum. So, like not a lot at all and I completely adored the book like the found family is so good but I just I've seen better and I think it's gonna get better so that's why I wanted to put it at 4.25 and not 4.5 or 5 or 4.75 for whatever please read it 4.25 stars I will definitely be reading the rest of the series. I'll probably make a reading vlog about that. It's so amazing. I love the Farm family, although it can be better and I think it's going to get better within the series and the next three books. Yeah, I just loved it. I'm super excited to see what comes next. The plot twist, y'all, y'all don't even know. I think I said it earlier in the video, but girl, the plot twist had me bawling, laughing, screaming, wanting to throw the book across the freaking room, rip the pages out, crack everything. Like it was mind blowing. I did not expect it. I literally, my annotations were like, I think this is who did something. I think this is happening. I think this is what's happening. I was like predicting the plot twist. I was completely off. I could have never in a million year guessed it. It was so good. It was so good. It was like, it was super fast paced. It was so mind blowing. It was super cute, but also funny. Love the found family. It was amazing. The book, the best word is it was fascinating. This book was so fascinating. Like their minds and how everything worked and how everything was put together. It was just, oh my God. The only thing I was like missing was the feeling of the surroundings. After I finished The Naturals, I tried finishing Kills Walking. It was horrible. I have been reading this for three years, tried finishing it. I was like, no, it's not happening. It's not, it, it won't happen. And I just didn't like it. It's boring. When I tell you half of this book is just blabber, literally. I'm sorry to Patrick Ness, you're probably a really good author. I've heard a lot of good things about you, but this book was not it. And I think I would have liked it. I think I would have given it like a three stars if it was in English, but I am reading this in Norwegian. The translation sucks. Okay, I don't know who translated this, but girl, you need to do some work because it was weird reading it as a Norwegian. It was, I will say I hate it. I didn't like it. I didn't, like the characters are cute and stuff. I like the characters. It doesn't get into the story within the 350 pages of the start. And I was like, if I read this much of this and I hate it, I don't need to read the last 150 pages. Although I DNF'd it, I gave this one star, so. And the last book that I finished in this video was It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. This book was really like mid. It was really cute. I loved The Summer I Turned Pretty. I love that universe. I love the show. I love the books. I love everything about it. I love Jenny Han. She makes such good. To All the Boys I've Loved Before is literally and will always be my comfort movie. It's one of my favorite movies ever. It was really cute. At the same time, it was a little bit boring because I 
I knew a little bit of what happened. I think if you go into this blind, it'll be better without giving any spoilers. It was really sad, but there was some places I didn't really necessarily need for the story to make sense. But at the same time, it was really cute. It was really good. I love the universal read whatever she writes anyways. Honestly, really like team belly in this book, team belly in this book. I give it a three stars, I think. And it wasn't bad at all. I actually like this more than book lovers. I read book lovers last year and I did not like that. I think I might have to change my rating on book lovers, but I missed Steven in this book as well. Like I really missed Steven. Steven is one of my favorite characters. I really liked it. It was it was good. That was all I had for this video. I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed filming just me reading what I do literally on a daily basis. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you want more book videos and more book vlogs, reading vlogs, blah, 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 etc. I hope you have a great week wherever you are in the world. I literally love you for getting to the end of this video. Comment the book emoji if you got to the end of this video and you're the best. Bye.